Courtesy of large water catchers, you can build a small grow operation away from water sources. Large catchers passively generate a minimum of 8 milliliters of water per minute. Unlike small catchers, this minimum amount of water is enough to run a sprinkler. A small catcher, or even multiple, will cause all the water to get wasted entering the sprinkler and emit zero water to your planters, whereas the 8 milliliters from a large catcher will actually emit 15 milliliters of water to your planters. But this passive water generation isn't enough. Fortunately, the large catcher gets 62 milliliters per minute in fog, up to 3,000 in rain, and up to 15,000 in heavy rain. And because it can store 50,000 milliliters while a small catcher only stores 10,000, the water stored when it rains is crucial for maintaining your crow operation. Overall, it seems that a large catcher is sufficient to run about 5 planters, provided you don't get unlucky on the frequency of rain. Remember that watering with sprinklers is most water efficient on 1, 3, or 5 planters, which is why I've stayed at 5. Depending on the rain, frequency of use, and modifications to your setup, you could stretch one large catcher to more planters, but one large catcher per five planters is a good default. Given how much water you get while it rains, it may even be practical to use a fuel tank vehicle module simply to store water and put back into your planters, but I personally prefer to keep my setup simple. But there are a few catches. The water from rain can be halved in the desert, and it's dramatically reduced in the snow, such that I don't think large catcher grow bases are actually viable there. Still, in the forest and desert biome, a large catcher with a simple 5 planter 2x3 should get the job done. This very basic base can support what you need to grow, just hook one large catcher to a fluid switch and pump and onto a sprinkler. Power the pump and two lights and you're set. You'll need to let the planters fill over a long period of time or manually water them after it rains with water from the catcher. You can also easily add a few more triangles to both honeycomb the TC and give yourself multiple growing floors. I believe this makes more casual growing viable as not only do you not need a source of water, without water pumps you save yourself a lot of scrap and power cost. The large catcher is the only T2 blueprint required and it's on the same track as other necessary blueprints. The flip side is you're somewhat dependent on rain and may need to manually water on occasion, but I find that an acceptable trade-off. I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching.